Keeve and I'm the race director uh, for the Kirby Moorside 10K. It's now in its 12th year and this year we've added another race, the 5K race, really to cater uh, for those teenagers. There's never been a race between year 6 primary uh, and entry to the, five, uh, to the 10K race at age 15. Uh, so at 1 o'clock we start the 5k race, it's actually under 5k, it's about 4, um, and then it, immediately that sets off down the high street, we conduct the dash, which is a, a race for, for toddlers uh, and their mums and dads if they want to enter up the high street and back. By the time they were all through the finish line and got their medals, the first runner from the 5k should be heading down Castle Gate uh, through the finish. Uh, once that's all done and dusted, uh, we then start the main event, which is the 10k race at 2 o'clock. We're using chip timing this year for the first time, so it will be computerised. Hopefully no errors uh, with results and positions and timings. Uh, so it will all be displayed, uh, people will get their, uh, their times on the day. Uh, and it will also work out the prize groups for who uh, receives the prizes. We've got prizes this year uh, for local runners, uh, for veterans uh, and for the main event as well. As soon as the 10k departs and the streetcar's uh, gone behind them, we line up and run then the, five, uh, the, the one mile race for uh, years three to six, and that goes up the high street and then up Manor Vale uh, and back down the high street. So we have a bit of concurrent activity while the lead runner is making his way around the 10k course. We've got action happening on the high street. Hopefully that's all. they're all back in within sort of 15, 20 minutes, and then we have a, about a 10 minute wait, and the lead runner should be back in in about 35 minutes. So uh, hopefully it'll all go to plan. You must be mightily relieved when you woke up this morning and saw the sun shining. It's a great day, yes. I mean, if it stays like this, we'll get good crowds, and that's what make Kirby Moorside 10K such a feature, and why people come back year after year, is because it starts on the high street, it's a measured 10K race, so you get lots of club runners, and it's a great finish back into the centre of town. Oh, it's at about 11 o'clock in the morning, how are the stress levels? Uh, the stress levels are fairly high, but by about 5 o'clock I should be downing my first pint in the White Swan or the King's Head. Right, just a quick word for all the volunteers who are involved. It's a fantastic effort, isn't it? it it's a great effort. We rely on, on upwards of 50 volunteers. Um, we brief them on the Thursday before the event. And to be honest, this event could not happen with the support we get from the town in terms of sponsors, but also the, the volunteers, not only here in the centre of town controlling traffic, issuing registration numbers and chips uh, for, the, for the main event, but also all the, the marshals that support us out in Gillimore, Fadmore and along the route uh, largely go unrecognised by the majority, but not by us, because this event could not happen. If you look at the Runners World website, it's the marshalling that makes this event and makes it such a, a, a great uh, event for the whole family now, not just for, for top runners and toddlers. We've got an event now for, for everyone to join in. And Brilliant. It's great. Thanks so much, Ray, but let you get on. Yeah, thanks very much. Cheers.
You're doing really well. It's downhill now, okay? It's in. Okay, thanks. Bye. Now I'm here. I might as well get all of them. Doing really, really well. <laughs> Downhill now.